Hey, and we're back. Uh, so we got no money on that, which makes sense. So, puppy, did you want to go outside? Be right back again. We're going to go put the dog outside. Go pee. Okay, right. so while he's going and doing his job, let's finish up this mission stuff. Uh, okay, so success everywhere. Got no money. Overall, uh, we got a little bit of structure and a little bit of armor damage because we did the DFA with the spider. Other than that, we actually did pretty good for everything. Now is where we would pick our salvage and all that stuff, but... I don't think we get any of that, so. So we want to grind a lot of faction reputation and rent to own in orbit. Er, Krune. If you start finding us better clan, Starius, I mean it. We have been slumming it at the asset of the frontier for the last three years now. We are drowning in debt. I'm fully aware of our financial situation, Meyer, uh, but I can't just conjure up new clients at thin air. Bjorn, do me a solid and back me up on this. This is why you made me your commander, so I can break up fights and review financial reports. Uh, really hard for cash. We need to stop talking and doing something about it. I know. No, thanks, Darius. I like the command. Let's go to the middle one there. Uh, Yang Vertanen. Uh, hey, I hear no arguments from me. Uh, when we made you our commander, we all agreed to follow your lead. Darius, could you walk us through the details of the trouble we're in? It might help you with uh, to broke things down point by point. He has no glass in his glasses. Sure thing, Yang. Point one. Myers right. We're in debt. Every Sibo we make technically belongs to the bank. Point two. Uh, this corner of the frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. There are clients, but they're terrible. That's just a fact. And that's it. There's no other points. What's your best case scenario? How many jobs will it take to repay our loans? Uh, why not just refuse to pay? We can afford to throw our weight around. We've got bottom mix. Uh, okay, we're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? So worst case, truthfully, I can't say. We're in pretty, pretty, pretty deep hole. From, what we're, from where I'm standing, don't see a whole lot of daylight. The thing is, these banks, and I use the word loosely, they don't want us to pay off our loans. They'll do whatever they can get to keep the keep us on the hook, hit us with fees, jack up interest rates, misfile paperwork, and try to find us way. They're, these are American banks. That's what they are. <laughs> the reason why Canadian banks. So we're gonna change that logo too. Uh, everyday promises accumulate debt. We're gonna get around. Uh, okay, so we're in a bad spot. What are we gonna do about it? I don't see that we can do much. About, uh, there's much we can do, girl. I'm already serving up. Uh, Every legitimate contract I can, unless you uh, want me to sidestep the mercenary rubru board uh, entirely, we're basically out of uh, options. So the MRB is basically like I think it was set up by Comstar. Yeah, uh, founded in 2789, the the uh, the MRB serves as a impartial broker for mercenary contracts. The MRB is overseen by Comstar, a communications giant that is famous for its neutrality. For now. An essential component of modern military culture, the MRB ensures that every um, that even playing field between mercenary companies and their employers. 
and it's quick to arbitrate any breach of contract. Basically, it's a partial, uh, it's a partial, impartial uh, third party. Go around the MRB, no thanks. Uh, taking uncertified job is a great way to wind up with a knife in your back. Basically, it's like they they give the money to the MRB, who then holds it, who then pays up the contract. Uh, uh, we just got betrayed by a board certified contract gang. How much worse could it get? But anyway, what happened down there is an exception, boss. With uncertified jobs, it's a rule. Remind me again why we don't just skip town and then find a nice little corner of the periphery. Because the banks and the jump ship crews are, have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're going to keep us on a short leash. For the now, for now they're neutral. Remember that. Um, uh, good reason. No, Darius Murray is right. We need to start earning some real money. We need to assume it only, only matter of time before we, before something breaks down, and I can't fix the blades of duct tape and good intentions. I want to get another close-up of Yang. I don't think there's glass in his glasses. My original owner, if I'm afraid to take him, if we were afraid to take him, never left my gilded cage. You hear that, Darius? The voice of experience speaks. Going around the MRB might kill us, sure. So might thousands of other things. We're mercenaries, taking risks as our business, but we need to get paid. Uh, settle then. I'm going to dig for contracts outside the MRB system. Who knows? This is all scripted to set you up for, I think, the first two or three storyline missions. Because in my eyes, we're still, I believe, in the tutorial until you get to the, uh, the Argo. Then the game just unlocks. Thanks for holding our jump ship uh, access hostage until we repay our debts for now. We can only go between Uric, Kern, uh, the nearby system of Alloway, Bellerophon, and Detroit. So we can only go through four systems right now. Uh, our top priority right now is to find work uh, so we can raise the cash. Uh, none of the contracts here are very good. I picked out the only viable one I can find. It's helpful, blah, blah, blah. So this is basically the tutorial how to pick a mission. Oh, look at that beautiful 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 piece of equipment so we have our leopard so we have a hiring hall so right now these are people that we can hire if we want to i'm not going to then oh. take off your shoes make yourself comfortable there's a store so we only have 900 grand that only gives us four months worth of uh stuff right now i'm not gonna do anything. we can buy a partial locust and a partial spider i'm not gonna buy anything just now uh, if we go to weapons, there's nothing too crazy yet. What we're looking for is plus plus weapons, which are basically just upgraded weapons. Heat six jump jets, and there's the locust and the spider salvage. Basically, the way to work this out is every mech is broken up into three parts of salvage. Think of it as basically the scraps. And the amount of scraps you're able to put together, you're able to build a full mech out of the three scraps. Okay. So right now we can only get one. So we're gonna skip, just wait that. We're gonna go to Darius here. Hi, right, so good to see you, Optibjorn. Can I do something for you? Tell me more about our debt situation. Yeah, sure, that's fair. I'm glad you're taking an interest. Uh, I got something to go nuts and bolts for you. What do you want to know? Why would you get to get the loans in the first place? How much time you got? I mean, we've been hit with thousands of expenses since we were first forced to flee Cormadier. But I guess mostly interest is B-ticket items. Well, first and foremost, there's the Leopard. Uh, we still owe a lot of money on the ship. And losing her isn't an option. Uh, we've got an assorted fallout from impromptu trips to the access of the frontier. Junker passages, docking fees, travel expenses, uh, all that stuff. Okay. Um, first you got Blue Horizon. That's a big commercial bank on the Retin. Uh, Lyriton, I think that's the, I don't know if that's Lyriton Commonwealth, so many options even in the tutorial if you dig very child. Yeah, apparently people are saying is the campaign itself is kind of short. Apparently it's only about 80 hours long if you power through it, but there's all the extra stuff around it that just is going to make this thing, and it never ends, because there's all the procedurally generated side missions. Got a lot of people elsewhere in America in the mixed space, followed by their associates. Uh, to make the jump away from Cormadier, Jim Cool. 
Yeah, it's enough about money. Let me ask you about something else. Got some questions about running the company. Oh, and then here's all the tutorial stuff. So tutorial contracts, finances, mech warriors, and events. Tutorial events. Uh, is there any general info you want to share? Things happen on the ship, Bjorn, all the time. You throw a bunch of mech jockeys in a confined space with technicians and crew for months on end, you're going to see some spoiler uh, spill over from the battlefield. Operating a merc outfit is a glamorous lifestyle. Their are voices with a fight over petty bullshit. Yeah. So basically, this is, from what I understand, the random events. So random events happen when you have a chance of happening. When you travel from one system to another. And it'll basically be... Pick, a, pick an option from the random event and see what happens. Uh, tutorial Mech Warriors. Well, that's 80 hours if you apparently plow through it. If you don't actually take your time to prepare for it and do it. Um, some people are already hundreds of hours. Like some streamers, I know uh, Sidestrafe. I think he said he was about 200 hours into the game already. And he was only into like third or fourth mission of the uh, the, the campaign. Uh, what do you want to know? Uh, how much do I need to worry about morale? Uh, mercenaries are, are, aren't like members of the Royal Guard. Uh, they're in it for the paycheck. So basically here, if you pay them more, it, it gives them uh, bonuses to the morale. Morale gives you the ability to do those two little options we were doing earlier. Uh, control over training. Uh, Mechwars gain experience uh, when they actually do their stuff. Becomes all that. Special uh, Mechwars have specialization. Special. Uh, so this is the actual like uh, XP stuff. Cosmetic combinations. Okay. And if you give me one second, my dog is barking. Sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, fix the chair. Uh, last thing, every skill increase. So, basically, what that is is it's your spending of your XP and how you earn XP. Uh, do experience mech warriors require higher salaries? Yes. So, it's obviously the base, and then as you train them up, they get more expensive. From what I understand, from I think it was that Mitch said something, is where it's cheaper to buy or to contract out lower level mech warriors and build them up yourself, then buy a high level um, uh, pilot. Tell me if the finances work. Pretty simple. Every 30 days you have to pay the crew. Cover all regular operating expenses. Upkeep for the mechs. Uh, we're already in the mech bays, upgrades, and equipment alike. Uh, hello! And then this part about mercenary contracts. Depending on the mercenary worker, is it reliable? I'll get intel before I do it. Uh, no, no, no. All right, so you basically give me all the information. Okay. So I like how they hide all the tutorials 
in with the actual Get characters. The My core. Okay, so Waiting. this is where we spend our XP, all that stuff there. Obviously the mech bay. So we gotta fix the spider. Repair the legs. Okay. Seeing what the hard points are, what the equipment does. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> From what I understand, is it's 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 not hard to make money in the game. So to repair, it's only going to cost six hundred grand. It's going to take two days because of the structure damage in the legs. So for the next two days, our spider is out of commission. So right now for storage, we got some AC2. We got an AC2 ammo, AC10 ammo, AC20 ammo, but we don't have an AC20. LRM10, an extra medium laser, an extra SRM2. So we don't have much. So for the moment, we're really not going to do much. Navigation. Oh, actually, McBay. There's Yang. So you can actually click on the person if you wait you'll notice that the tv screen will flash that's where you can click to do all this stuff or i think yang right now, like you can then click on any of the people as well navigation star map and her then we have our quarters so first things first i am changing the name um so i've told people ahead of time that i have changed i have picked the name out um being that my character is from the FRR, and I'm very FRR related. We're going to name this thing the Life Dragon Regiment, but it's going to be in Swedish. So it's actually the Liv D R A G O N R C G E, whoops, E M E N T E T. Now, we need a good logo here. Something that says Norwe Norwegian, Swedish, Danish, something northern. Um, start from the top. <laughs> There's a butterfly again. There we go. There's a bear. Which kind of hails to the future, which is the free Razzleheg Dominion, which is under basically kind of cahoots with Clan Ghost Bear. Uh, there's a dragon. Octopi. A goat. A ram. So far, that bear is the. There we go. Look at that. That's awesome. And there's nothing else here that's... There's Thor's hammer. Theoretically. But I'm thinking... That so far is the more. Well, actually... It's very close to the FRR colors, which is like the Swiss, the Swiss, uh, the Swiss Guard colors. Uh, we're gonna go like that, that, like that. Try and see how that goes. So blue, yellow, and. and We have red. There we go. We have darker blue. No. Nope. Right. So blue, yellow, and red. Bottles on the table. Yeah. It's gonna harken back to the old days. Save. 
Life's Dragon Regiment with the FRR colors. So right now that's our MRB rating, every all our factions that we're with. And this is our financial stuff, what we're paying right now. So right now it's costing us monthly 110,000 for our four pilots and 130,000 for our five mechs and our 70,000 for our loan. Okay, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys wouldn't see this, but I actually have a thing that's got uh, like a financial report someone put up on the forums. Okay. So for our characters, I don't want to get them too far into these, the, the tiers thing, but this is what I'm kind of aiming for. Um, I'm aiming, theoretically, that is, for... Well, for starters, okay, uh, like for myself, I want to get multi-targeting with breaching shot and, uh, and and probably bulwark. That way, we can actually skip a lot of stuff. So if I did this, this, and this, for now, actually, no, let's reset that. Go here, here. Yeah, let's go there for now. I'm going to get ourselves a little extra stuff. That's me. Ready for order. Behemoth. Training confirmed, Commander. Ready for order. Decker. Kind of want to get everyone at least to tier four first before I make my decisions as to where people are going to go as well. Training complete. Correct. Good to go. Training complete. Last but not least, go. Medusa. Get more health. That way they last longer. Okay. So now everyone. Receiving you. Yes, Commander. Everyone except for Glitch has uh, an extra health, and my dog's freaking out. I don't know why he's freaking out. So two of you right now have specialties. Hey, Commander. One mech is... Oh, I love that. We do have one mech out of uh, work for two days. No big deal. Let's look at the patterns here. Oh, it's like a... Almost like a winter pattern there. Or a... Uh, I like how you can kind of see the pattern, but not really. Kind of going for pattern four for the Vindic. Oh, there we go. <sighs> pattern five. Like, oh, it looks like a lot of the paint's been rubbed off. Last but not least, our locust that we can barely see. Yeah, we'll go with six for now. So right now the plan is not to really spend too much money on our mechs and stuff like that. We're basically just going to work our way through and get our stuff done. Which means we're going to our next 